So today I'm at Volst Alpine. I'm here with Stuart Brown. Uh, we're going to talk about this machine that we have behind us here, which would you believe costs this business less than £150,000 from XYZ. This is a heavy duty two metre VMC. Stuart, let's uh, start by talking about when you got the machine and why you purchased it. Okay, we bought the machine back in October. Uh, we needed a large scale machine for some of the larger sort of plates we machine here. Um, I, was looking, I was looking for something quite heavy duty. Um, looked on the market, found this, it was the right price. And it's uh, doing the job. How, how do you know it's heavy duty though? What, what, what led you down that path of thinking it was? Well, it's actually modelled up as a HD machine, which stands for heavy duty. Obviously, I looked into the specs, spoke to XYZ. Um, I was lucky enough to see this down in their Devon showroom. Behind it was another one that it came in, and it got all the casings, the guardings were all off the back. I could see all the box waste slides. So when you went, yeah, I was going to say there's six boxway slides. Is that across the uh, what would be where the x axis is moving? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then the two up for the Z as well. Uh, two up for the Z, so you, you, it's a total box guideway machine. It is, yeah. you, you talk about heavy duty then. So, what have you done on this machine, or what are you cutting to ensure that you were right in making that decision? A lot of the materials we cut are quite tough. Uh, we do got M303 going on here in a minute. Um, we do quite aggressive three to five mil cuts. Uh, we cut dry as well, so we get good life. Um, it's generally proved it's, it's sort of worth, really. Uh, what about the spindle on this as well? You, you talked about a, a, counter, a counterbalance on it. or for Yeah, there's a counterbalance weight in the Z-axis on the back, so it's actually on two chains, and uh, it has to be air pressure to, to withstand that. It's a maximum weight of three tonne as well on the machine. What, you can get three tonne on that tape? Three tonne on that bed, yeah. Wow, okay. And would you ever use it for something that, that, that size? I know you've got cranage here, and yeah, I know yeah. you're doing bigger parts, but what is the biggest part you think you'd get on there? We can get two metres by one metre by 800. That's, that's the sort of machine and envelope, and three tonne. So. And you say you're cutting dry then. Why do you cut those, those more challenging materials dry? We get better performance on, on, on the inserts we're currently using. Uh, we are in trials with other companies, and we have trialled with coolant. Some materials we do have to machine with cool, coolant on. It's, 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 it's varied. Now, the, the business has gone through a lot of changes, uh, certainly with the rebrand recently, yes. and there's a lot of older machines in here. This, this and a new XYZ turning centre that you've got sure. really stand out from the rest, don't they? Uh, just tell us a little bit about the company, what you do and why these machines are here. Okay, so what we predominantly do is we do a pre-machining for end users in various industries uh, to stop them having to tie up their machines. That's the value-added service sort of side of what the, the group is looking at providing. Um, obviously they're willing to invest and, and so, so you're a material supplier to, to local businesses or uh, nationwide yeah nationwide and Ireland as well we supply to Ireland but some customers will opt for additional uh, added value services where you actually machine parts as well that's correct yeah okay and what's what's the split how, how, how many of those customers come to you and actually say well okay I'm interested in the material but I want you to machine it as well a lot of them don't understand that we do that yet it's, it's still growing it's, it's, it's really is growing in the UK um, putting awareness out, things like speaking to yourselves. And what would be the advantage to someone actually coming to you and, and buying the material and the machining service? We run our machines at a very low machine rate uh, compared to a lot of our end users. The hourly rates on their machines will be quite high, as are quite low. So we don't, they don't have to tie up their machines, they can carry on doing their finished product with pre upping anything. And the fact that you've got a big machine here, does that mean that you're not willing to take on the smaller part manufacturing as well, or can you do it all? No, we do right down to uh, sugar cube size pieces. Okay, now the learning curve for this as well, one of, the, one of your gentlemen that works on this machine, he's been with the business 18 years, he'd never seen technology like this, has he? How quick has he picked it up? He picked it up straight away, to be honest. He, he went on a two-day training over at Nuneaton for the XYZ, for the Siemens control, and came back, able to use it. I've, supported him on uh, with datums and things like that but that's why we kind of went for the, the bed we did on the machine and i think the, the interesting part of this Stuart, is you're a very experienced um, engineer and machinist you've had a lot of involvement in machine tools procurement uh, the xyz as a, as a machine here has was it the right decision for you and, and why really did you select it over the others that you looked at because it was a, a quite a big search for you wasn't it yeah sure um i definitely went with xyz it was good price good solidly built machine and the service I've had so far has been, been fantastic with XYZ. Has it ever broken down? No. <laughs> Six months in, it's still going, it's fine, we've never had an issue with it. 